back. That was a that was a spam call, all right? I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Those bots calling your phone. Anyway, here we go. So we check this. We check this first. Get this out the way. Make sure that this is, isn't the problem. Unfortunately, if you if you don't like with me, I would have an extra one of these. If you don't have one, you know, you, it's hard because you may have to buy another one or something like that. But most li a lot of the times, it's, this is the problem. Okay. So anyway, let's let's move this out the way now. The next thing to check, because I mean, you did check the 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 hose to make sure it was sprayed. You checked the bottom; nothing is working. So now let's check the pump belt. Okay. So uh, you can kind of zoom in on this one here. We're going to pop open this pump belt. You get a flathead screwdriver or something of a sort. Just put it back here and just kind of pry it open. There we go. And then kind of hold this up and then go on the in the front and you can just kind of work your way slowly but surely to make sure that you can get this up and out. Oh, let me move this down. This is the better if I do it this way. Let's move this down. All right, and I'm going to kind of work my way under here on these little clips. Here we go. And it's up. Okay? Don't don't uh, don't pull it too hard because if you can see this edge here, you know, if you yank it too hard, you can break it. And knowing that it's here, it's probably best if you kind of go down right above. You see this push button right here? If you have one of these newer styles right here, just figure that, you know what, stick my uh, flathead and kind of pry it and it'll pop it up. This way you don't break this clip. All right, move that out the way. Now here, look down here. This is where the pump belt is. Now, if this is broken, then for sure, this is the reason why uh, your pump is not working, okay? If this pump belt is broken, or even sometimes if it's kind of worn or slick or stretched out, this might be the reason. You may not have to replace the pump, all right? But let's uh, let's get to the pump, now that we're here anyway, all right? Take this off, okay? With this particular model, you just push down the, the buttons and this comes right up, which, it's an improved design over the first version. All right, definitely an improvement. Let me just move these out the way. All right, so now to replace the actual pump belt, all right, let's see if we can get a good angle because it's, uh, it's actually better to work on this from this angle, okay? Let me take this other um, tank off. All right, so really what you're doing is you're going to get your screwdriver and remove that cap screw there you're gonna remove the end caps and the reason I do it like this is because it's a lot easier to to kind of fit it over again when it's time to put this back okay it could be a pain in the butt fixing this now for this particular Bissell Revolution this this model here the belt is larger than the first version of the Bissell Revolution okay these belts are larger so be very be mindful when you're ordering new geared belts because you may get the smaller one and if I'm not mistaken um, I, I gotta double check but it's hard to get those older versions of the Bissell Revolution belts um, because this is the one that they're really pushing now okay so if you have if you run into that problem uh, you guys can let me know this let me know if you have tough tough time finding belts so what you would do with the new pump belt right let me take this belt off and then we'll start from scratch on this one let me show you what I'm doing. I just want to get the old belt off for a second. All right. So now the old belt is off. How do you put on the new belt? Well, I'm going to tell you why I went through that route in the first place. Let me show you. You see, here, you see right here? I'm pulling the old belt out. Normally, if it's broken, then you wouldn't have to do this. All right. But okay, so now here we go. Start over. So now, now you got your new belt. Okay, you're gonna feed it through here, all right? Or you can even you can even you can even feed it through here to get it over. You really just want to get it over the um, the shaft so you can see that. Get it over the shaft so you can put it over the ball, all right? That's the only reason why I kind of fed it through there. See that? So now let's back in, okay? And now you can pull it, stretch it, and get it over the shaft. 
okay and now your pump belt is replaced all right just kind of mess around with it a little bit and get it get it right there's a couple of ways you can do this but you know you just find a way that works best for you guys all right look at that pump belt is on all right so without this pump belt working you're, you're definitely your pump is not going to work now let's say you you said well my, my pump belt was on when i checked okay um i checked my my tank everything is you know my tank is fine you know um i think i want to replace the pump all right so let's give it a try uh here's the other thing you know what uh, one way to verify if your tank is a problem if you don't have another tank sometimes you can pour water get a small cup and just pour some water inside the reservoir turn it on and try to spray and try the spray from all angles try the um the hose spray try the trigger try uh the clean shot on the side okay turn this on try that um make some adjustments here on these things to make sure nothing is out of whack on on, on this here try all these things before you get to where you're taking your machine apart and you're messing with the pump. okay all right so because once you know once you get that started then you have to just kind of commit your way all the way through it's, it's, a, it's a it's not a it's not a one-time gig it's a you have to go all the way in so here we go watch long screwdriver long phillips okay all right all right and this couple of screws here we're going to take this off didn't have my long drill bit on me today so I'm using this it would have made the job a lot faster okay take that another one here okay another one here okay now here we go now let's we're gonna use our flat edge again um, you can use something like this you can use something like a flathead screwdriver but uh, yeah you, you just have to be a little mindful of these things because the clips that's really what you know you, you don't want to break anything so um, you know what let me start from the back because what I don't want to do is to have you start prying away at stuff you with me Taylor? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay there we go let's start popping it pop 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 all these things are coming off if you notice i started over here and the reason why i backed off because i wasn't sure exactly where that clip was on this side and i didn't want to mess with it see it's on the inside see that it wasn't on the outside it was on the inside so i went this route around all right anyway here we go this is off all right let's take another screw off again Okay. All right. Some of you guys, if you're working with me, you probably already took yours off and you're waiting on me to finish because I'm using this manual screwdriver. You're like, man, guy, hurry up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see if we can pull this off nice and easy. Off. Okay, let's. Oh, there's a small clip over here, guys. Let me show you. Right in here is a little, right there, little lip. So you want to get that, get that up. All right, now this is off. All right. So this is what we're looking at here. Take a look. All right, so you have your shaft here. You have your, your pump right here okay you have all this working together all right so if you're gonna replace this um you know your, your, your pump you have all this this whole mechanism here you may just have to replace all of this so that's why i really wanted you to make sure that you check everything else before you go here okay all right and and take a look it's not it's not difficult at all all right it's remove the screws, remove the screws, remove the screws. Unclip, unclip. All right. Replace. That's really what you're doing. There's not. Let me get, let me use my little one here. And I would take off the old belt first just to be on the safe side. Let me show you what you're doing here. 
Okay. Alright, it all depends. I just leave this in here. Make it easier to find. Alright. Look at this. And if you look at it, it's not much to go wrong here. Right? That's why I say this part, this particular, unless it's rusted and a whole lot of things happening in here, right? There's not a whole lot to go wrong in this end. So let's move, move these uh, these two screws right here. Okay, let's get another one over here. Okay. All right. See that? Take a look. See? So that's why I said there's not a lot to go wrong here, unless, of course, you have rust, something broke. Um, let's move that to the side. All right, and, and you just have to unclip. I would take pictures of this, okay? Now here's something else. Take a look at this. See in here? See in here? Okay. See all that debris? That debris can also be an issue, okay? So there are little things you can check. Take a look at that. See that? You want to check everything before you get to replacing this, uh, this okay? All right. Uh, so you really would just unhook all these little uh, uh, tubings, replace your new parts, put the tubings back. There's not much more that I can show you that you know common sense couldn't really figure this out, right? You remove that, remove that, you put the new one back, you put the new one back, and voila, you're all set. Okay, and when it's time to put it back, you, you, you just have to make sure that, uh, you see the way this is lined up here? Uh, let me see if you can see it on the inside. That half moon, this is shaped the same way. So just, just get, them, get them to fit on the same way. Let me see that half moon here. Yep, yep, it's on this side, change. Okay, half moon is on the other side. Here we go. That's it. Put it back in place. Put this back in place. And we just screw it back. And that's really how simple this particular procedure is. But if you don't have to go to this, because I would hate for you to, re to do this, and then that's not the problem. Right? You know, because something else is blocking or something else is, uh, is wrong with the system, okay? Kind of doing this not on my regular workbench, so uh, everything is a little bit uh, kind of on balance here. Because I have I have a I have like a head, uh, but the lighting is not the best back there. I have like a uh, something for this to sit on the back of this sit on while I'm working, so I don't have to keep bouncing back and forth. But yeah, I'm not gonna have you kind of sit through while I, while I go through all this stuff here. Um, you know, I'm gonna cut the video short, but. And also, when you're messing with this, if you notice how this is now out of whack, let me show you. This is probably the thing, this is the frustrating part. You see how this is slide out? So you would have to make sure, let me see, let me turn it sideways. Yeah, you see that? Make sure that they slide back into place together, all right? And that your, your washers are still on. Take a look, these washers here. This is, mm -hmm. a magnet will probably be the best thing to use right now. Didn't think to bring my magnet from the back. All right. Look at that too. These little things give me so much problems. All right, let's pop this, pop it out with this. Here we go, all right. So while I'm at it, let me put, let me put the pump belt on. I don't want to close everything up and then the pump belt is not on. So let's put this pump belt on here. All right. And let me secure uh, the pump. All right. Before I go any further, let's put this pump back because I don't want anything to fall out. And hopefully this helps for those who want to go a little bit further in. Again, it's not. 
this is not normally the biggest issue on this. They've, they've, they've eliminated a lot of the, 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 um, you know, the way the old pumps worked. A lot of that is eliminated with this design. A lot of those errors are eliminated with this new design for this different pump. Okay, so you shouldn't have to worry too much that the pump is the main problem. Okay, not on the Revolution. Okay, all right. Here we go. So that's secure. This is secured. You know, you put everything back. You put it, you know, you unhook, you put it back in, you unhook that, you put it back in. That's very basic, all right? Um, so now, let's let's get this back on again. Because remember, this 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 is where the pain is. But look at it. It even popped right back out again. See that? So let me uh, let me work my way my magic here. All right, it's in. So now you get your geared belt on. The belt is always towards the first brush, okay? Gear belt, first brush. You, sometimes we try to connect these two brushes here. All right, and then we wanna put this back. And this is also a little tricky deal. So we have to make sure we fit these things in, in the hole. And they even have a little, if you notice right here, see these little holes right here? It, it'll allow you to see the, uh, the metal Raw shaft through here, so that can kind of help guide you as you're putting it on. All right. Wait, am I, am I mistaken? Did I just lose a washer? Let me double check. Is that how easy these things are to lose? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, a washer must have fell off or something. Maybe not. All right, here we go. Voila. All right, and it's on. That's it. Hopefully this helped you guys, all right? Specifically for those who want to go a little bit further in, and for those who don't want to mess with this, just take it to a shop and they'll take the time and mess around with this stuff and get frustrated with the washers and, you know, um, having to test it a few times to make sure it works. The most frustrating part of this job is to think that you have it repaired, put it back together, something is wrong, you gotta take it apart again put it back together, take it apart again. That's the part that can be the most frustrating out of working with these machines, all right? So, and all you have to do now is put everything back. Look, you know, you have your little cap here. Now, this part, you have to make sure that this is properly uh, in line. This is the, the clean shot, uh, right? So you wanna make sure that's lined up properly, okay? So I'm gonna, while it's down, I'm gonna put it on and then we'll go from there, okay? Actually, let me take these screws out, because you know what? These screws are gonna make it a tough time when you're trying to put it back in. They never really go in straight. So, let's get these screws out of here. Okay, let's get them out, get them out, get them out. All right, and then we'll put it back and then we'll, we'll worry about that afterwards, all right? Here we go. Snap, snap. Snap, 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 snap. And then we're gonna put all our screws back in and then we'll snap everything back on and then that's it. That's really the end of the show. If you need more, if you need to know how to put screws back in, maybe you need to tune in <laughs> again, but I don't think you need to see me screw all these screws back in. And maybe I'll speed this part up. Maybe uh, I'll be able to speed this. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end. And thanks for, for, for checking in and, and viewing the video. Uh, please share and, and like the video. We also have a drawing at the end of February uh, 28th. And all you have to do to enter is to subscribe and leave a comment on this video. Until next time.